Hello everybody, this is Camilla again. I hope you're doing well and that you are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, as we say in Australia, which means that you are alert and happy. Now I'm going to go and explain how to convert these really strange characters that sometimes can appear in previously translated text. And the reason this is useful is because some of you or many of you, I'm not too sure, uh, many Finns, for instance, like to use the previous translated Finnish text files when they are translating it from Finnish into Swedish. And now let's open a file. Mm, I'm going to select 18. Okay, look at that. As we can see, we've got some really strange characters in the text which does not even belong to the Finnish language. So whether you're using another language, it doesn't matter. This can still happen. You may not have exactly the same characters. You may have something else. But uh, the whole purpose of this is that we can change them. Now, I actually don't read. I can't speak Finnish. But I'm going to try. So you're going to have a good chuckle. <laughs> um, I have, I think that this is Yumala Laheti. So can you see here that there are two characters that are supposedly representing A, the letter A. So what I've done is I've highlighted both of those characters. In this case, they've used two characters to represent the one letter A. So I've highlighted it, and then you press Control C. Now that's a shortcut with copy, and that's very handy to have. Now we're gonna go to Multiple Replace. Oops. Um, there are times that you will need to go to Replace instead. So your first port of call should be Multiple Replace. If that does not work, then go to replace. Okay, here, find what? I will control V. So after you've clicked in this field, you do control V, and then your letter appears as so. And then replace with, uh, I think it was A. Okay, A. And then you press add. And then down here, you may have noticed that this text all of a sudden changed. Um, the text which was there just a second ago belonged to another text file which I used 10 minutes ago. It had nothing to do with this file. So it was just there in memory. Okay, now it has updated this little box with the translated text that I have at the moment, the one that's active, and it's shown me an example of what happens when I apply this rule. See the third line there? There's my character. There's the letter A. And look at that. Ya etta. And there's Yumala Laheti. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to press OK. Actually, I just want to check if there's a. Uh, I have to, I want to remove that one because that was from the old file. Did you notice that I deleted line 2? That was from a previous file that I had once used and I'm, I'm submitting a new rule here. Okay, and now click OK and look at that. Yumala uh, Lahati. I'm trying to find because I'm not finished Mius. Okay, um, I'm gonna guess here. As I said, it's quite possible you'll have a good chuckle, but that's all right, Alicia. <laughs> At least it adds a little bit of happiness to our days. And um, I've highlighted these two characters, which are representing the one character that it is supposed to be. 
So I've highlighted that, and again, we'll do Control C. And now we'll go back to the multiple replace, which is found under the Edit menu. And see here, right next to it, there's a shortcut, Control Alt M. That's the shortcut to get to that menu. Okay, in here, click in the Find What field first, then do Control V, which is the shortcut for paste. And then we click in the Replace With field. And now I will put in the letter it is supposed to be, or at least I think it is supposed to be. As I said, I'm not finished, so please bear with me. And then I press Add. And then, as you could see, this lower field again had updated. Um, Mears. Mears, I think. Yeah. Okay, with me not being a fin, I still think that this is actually correct. Okay, and now, if you like those changes, then you press OK, because that is when you are submitting that rule, submitting the changes. Uh, okay, and there we go. This doesn't look good to me. See that one? This is probably another, another letter here and here that needs to be changed. But um, because I'm not finished, I'm not too sure what they should be replaced with. But at least you know now what to do. Um, remember that when multiple replace doesn't work, you use replace. Um, there are some rare cases where you will need to use that other menu instead. And by all means, please remember to save so that you are overwriting the file so that when you open it next time, your changes will be still there. I hope that this has been very helpful to you and I will see you later. Bye bye.